Disney Plus recently released a new teaser for the upcoming Percy Jackson adaptation, and in this video, I'll explain and break down this trailer for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. The scene opens with an elevator where Walker Scobell, or the actor for Percy, is. And from what we can see, this must have been the elevator used to get to Mount Olympus. In the book, Mount Olympus was positioned on the 600th floor of the Empire State Building. And by the end of the first book, Percy arrives at Mount Olympus to give Zeus his lightning bolt, which was stolen during this time. So this little scene over here must have been that part of the book. We then get this shot of Ares, the god of war, who was played by Adam Copeland. This scene instantly told me that it was Ares, because his outfit is pretty accurate to his book version. Though the only difference is, in the book, Ares wore a dark jacket and sunglasses. Still though, Adam was able to give off the Ares vibe in this little shot, so that was alright with me. We then see Walker enter a room, and by the looks of it, it's probably somewhere in camp. The following what happens in the book, this might be where the Oracle of Delphi was. Before starting a quest, a demigod has to get a prophecy from the Oracle, and Percy did this in the book, so this might have been what the scene was trying to hint at. We have another look of camp, with demigods running and probably training. And then, we get this close-up of Virginia Cole, the actress who will play Sally Jackson or Percy's mother. Despite getting only a few seconds of this scene, it's clear that Virginia looks scared or worried, which makes me think that this is the scene when they realized the Minotaur was after them, and she was worried about their safety. We then get one of the best shots of the trailer, which showed Grover with his satyr legs. This happens when Percy and his mom go to Montauk for a vacation, and Grover entered their house to warn them about the Minotaur chasing them. After this, we see the trio in this grassy field, and it's clear that this is the time when they start their quest to retrieve Zeus's lightning bolt. We then get a quick shot at Aryan Simhadri, the actor who plays Grover, and it's not that visible, but the orange shirt he's wearing is most likely a Camp Haplet shirt. We see Leia Jeffries, Annabeth's actress in the next scene, stab a monster, and this part is probably when Annabeth stabbed the Fury in a bus from the book. We then get this incredible part, where Sally and Grover are seen in the car, and a monster breaks the windows. This honestly made me want to scream, because this was the Minotaur chasing Percy, Sally, and Grover when they were trying to get to camp, and the trailer was able to capture that beautifully. The last part of the trailer was a scene with the trio, and the voiceover that said, We've been expecting you. After watching that part, I immediately went through the books to figure out if it was a quote, and I found something similar to it from The Last Olympian. It was in the first chapter, when Percy and Bikendorf met Luke on a ship. During this time, Luke was possessed by Kronos, and he said, You're late, Percy. We've been expecting you for days. Though I doubt it was Luke saying it in the trailer, and hear me out. The voiceover in the trailer sounded like someone older than Charlie Bushnell, or Luke's actor, so it couldn't have been him. Though possessed by Kronos, Luke sounded like himself, and I've heard Charlie's voice in an interview, and to me, it's not him talking in the voiceover. It's probably someone older like Lance Reddick, the actor who played Zeus, and there's a possibility that it's him. I recognize this part as something that happened after the fight Percy had with Ares, and after the scene, Percy goes to Mount Olympus to return Zeus's lightning bolt. So this voiceover was probably Zeus telling Percy that he thinks Percy was the one who stole the lightning bolt, and that's why he was expecting Percy to come clean and admit to the crime. The trailer ends with a date of December 20, 2023, meaning it's going to come out by the end of the year. I don't know about you guys, but this trailer made me so hyped up for the show, and I'm so excited to finally watch it this year. So how about you? What do you think of this teaser? Let me know in the comments down below.